welcome to this week's Drinks Undressed guys. I'm going to be showing you my personal little secret for making a awesome whiskey sour at home. Using a blender, bear with me guys, everyone's going to start rolling their eyes here. I devised this way um, of making an amazing whiskey sour. Because when I was at home and I really, really wanted a whiskey sour, I didn't want to have to keep getting up off the sofa if you're watching a good movie or you're out with your friends on the barbecue. What I decided was, screw it, man. I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make myself a big old whiskey sour. So we're going to make one in a pint glass. So you're going to have a pint of whiskey sour that you can just sip over a good hour, stay in the action, ice cold, lovely fluffy egg whites, just the way you want it. And the blender is actually the perfect tool to do it. So I'm going to show you how we do it and why we do it right now. And we're going to do a whole cup of bourbon, which is basically a third of a bottle of bourbon straight in there. Now, bear in mind, if you, you could use this method to make four whiskey sours for you and your mates if you wanted. But I tend to find that sometimes, you know, you're like, oh, what should I drink tonight? Should we have a few beers? Should we have, should we have a bottle of wine? Or, uh, but no, you're like, no, I really want a cocktail, but I don't want to have to keep getting up every five minutes to make a cocktail. So what we're going to do, we're going to put in a cup, so that's 250 mLs of your favorite bourbon or whiskey, rye whiskey, whatever you prefer. You could even do it with Lafroy if you really want a nice smoky Islay Scotch uh, whiskey sour. I've, uh, I've made a few of those in my time and they've been great. So uh, we're gonna add uh, some powdered sugar again, straight in there. So we've basically got about just over four regular whiskey sours in here. So I'm gonna go with four heaped teaspoons of the powdered sugar. All right, in there, beautiful. Pop that on the base, and we're going to juice them straight over into the blender. Bingo, bango. So two whole lemons in. Look at the juice coming off of those, beauties. And then we've got our egg whites. Now, some people feel nervous about using fresh eggs, but I can tell you there's nothing to be afraid of for two main reasons. Now, one, there's a little technique you can use to make sure your egg's fresh and that it's not gonna make, give you a dicky belly. So the first one is to pop it, in, pop it into water, if they sink, they're good as gold, they're fresh. If they float, they've got oxygen inside, that means there's bacteria producing oxygen. Don't use those ones. Throw them away, I wouldn't even bother cooking with them myself. Um, so you pop them in there. These have all sunk, so they're beautiful. Well, the other thing about this is if you wash the outside of the egg, because that's the bit that's been, uh, you know, who knows where, in the farmyard. So you wash the outside of that, and that way when you crack it with air, you're not introducing any bacteria inside, inside the egg itself. The second reason, obviously, is that we're actually mixing this with alcohol. So uh, you may or may not know that when you buy one of those hand sanitizers, where you go to the doctors or the hospital and they're like, sanitize your hands, well, the, uh, the bacteria killing ingredient that's in there is, wait for it, alcohol. So we're basically throwing our raw egg whites into you know, a bacteria killing agent, which is your bourbon. So there's really nothing to worry about. But if you, you know, if you're, if you're feeling super cautious, you could, uh, you could always go and buy the, uh, the pasteurized ones that they sell in the supermarket. But I don't know, I, I tend to find that a freshly cracked egg white really gives you that lovely foam that you want. I mean, obviously, the whiskey sour being super popular these days, and the reason, it, the reason it's popular is simple, it's delicious, and it's fluffy, yeah? Everyone loves a good fluffy egg white drink right now. So there we go, we're gonna put two egg whites in there because obviously we're making our monster of a drink. So there we go, and let's not forget our good friend, bitters. All right, so I'm gonna, I love bitters, and I'm sure you love bitters as well. We're gonna go with 10 dashes of bitters, or more if you like. And this is where you've gotta be a little bit careful because you don't want this to taste like a slurpy, like a slush puppy. You want it to basically cool the drink down, you want to give it the right dilution. So you don't want to go filling this right up with ice and then having like a sushi of a drink. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put in about eight to 10 ice cubes only. The thing that's difficult when you're making cocktails, uh, you know, egg white cocktails at home is getting that love, is getting the shake right. You know, you've got to get the shake right so that you can get all that lovely foam and whip up the egg white to aerate the drink. The blender is the perfect tool for doing that as we're about to demonstrate. Ready for this one, Eric? All right. The fluffiest whiskey sour, oh my god, you have ever seen in your life. And we're just going to pour that straight into our pint glass. Look at that, mate. That is just delicious. I can't wait to get involved in that. I can see Eric is <laughs> frothing at the bit over there. 
He can't wait to get his get his lips around this one. <laughs> and then we're gonna pop a straw in it this time. You don't have to, but hey, why not? Easy peasy. It's quite honestly the kind of drink I like to I like to make these on my you know when I'm on my own watching a good movie. You got your, you got a good gangster film on or something. You want to feel gangster? <laughs> why, not? why not have a pint of whiskey sour <laughs> with, with a spotty straw? <laughs> <laughs> and a lemon wheel, yeah? There's nothing more gangster than that. All right, there we go. Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, and that is the baddest ass, fluffiest whiskey sour you're gonna find anywhere in the world, and it's that easy. And the key is as well, I've blended that long enough that there's no ice crystals left in there. What you've got, you've got exactly the same end result as you would have if you were there shaking a huge, great big uh, Boston shaker for like, you know, 10 minutes to get the right dilution, the right temperature, and that's going to taste beautiful. In fact, why not? Let's give it a whirl. Oh, yes. See you later. <laughs>